Hi, and welcome to another video about mastering everyday English conversations. I create new videos every week, and so if you want to learn more about everyday English and improve your everyday English, click down here to subscribe. And also, give me a thumbs up and like this video. Today's video comes in two parts. First, you can listen and read an everyday conversation. Today's conversation, we're going to the pharmacy. In the second part of the lesson, I'll give you some really important vocabulary that you can use and I'll answer some of like the really important questions that you're going to have when you go to a pharmacy in the United States. Okay, in this first section, just listen to the conversation and read along and just notice the parts of the conversation that are highlighted in red. Those are like the really important sort of standard parts of the conversation that you'll get at a pharmacy. Hi, how can I help you today? I have a prescription I need to get filled, please. Sure. Do you have your prescription with you? Yeah, I, I have it here. Okay, great. I'll take that and an ID, please. Here you go. Thanks. Okay, this is for atrovastatin, 40 milligrams. Is that correct? Yes, it is. We offer the brand name or the generic version of this. The generic would be a little cheaper. Do you know if this medication is covered by my insurance? Let me check. No, unfortunately it's not covered. The standard atrovastatin is $89.99, whereas the generic would be $33.99. Is there a difference between the medication? No, not really. Okay, then I'll get the generic one, please. Right now, you have a 30-day supply, but if you order a 90-day supply, you could get a 20% discount on the price. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, I'll just get that ready for you. How long will it take? It should take me around 10 minutes. Okay, I'll wait. Thanks. Okay, your prescription is ready. Do you have any questions about the medication? Yeah, what time should I take it? The dosage is 40 milligrams a day. Your prescription says you should take it in the morning before you eat breakfast. Are there any side effects? The common side effects are slight drowsiness and nausea. This medication shouldn't be taken with alcohol. If you have any other concerns, contact your doctor. Okay, thank you. And can I get refills here? Yes, your prescription is for nine months. Today you'll get three months supply and you can come in or we can set up an automatic alert to tell you when it's ready. Okay, yeah, I'll set up an automatic alert, please. Sure, we just need your telephone number and you'll receive a text when your next prescription is ready. Okay, and you're all set. You'll receive a text just to confirm your prescription. 
If that's everything, your total today is 81.58. Okay, that's everything. Thank you. In the next part of the lesson, we're going to look at some of the parts of that conversation that were really important and definitely things that you're going to experience when you go into a pharmacy. Get a prescription filled. Get your prescription filled basically means just to get your medication prepared for you. So when you go to the pharmacy, they fill your prescription, which basically means they, they make it for you. They, they make the medication and get it ready for you. Brand names and generic names. So in America, very often, if you go to a pharmacist, you can choose. They'll have the medication, and in many cases, they'll have the brand name, which means it'll be made by, you know, a big pharmaceutical company, which normally costs more. Or they'll have like a, what they call a generic version of the medication. And by generic, they mean it's normally sort of made maybe by the pharmacy themselves. Um, it's normally a lot cheaper. I think it's the same medication, it's just cheaper. And very often, if you go to a pharmacy, they're going to offer you the brand name or the generic name. Is the medication covered by my insurance? It's good to know when you go into the pharmacy if your medication is covered by insurance or if you have to pay for it yourself. So, of course, you can just ask them and they should be able to tell you if you have health insurance, you just give them your health insurance card and they can check for you. Um, if you don't have health insurance, it's a good idea just to, just to ask how much your medication will cost before, before you um, order the medication. The reason I say that is because you might want to go and look somewhere else. There are lots of different pharmacies and you might be able to find the prescription a little cheaper at a different place. How long do I have to wait? This is interesting because when we speak in English, we very often say how long. And what we mean by how long is like how much time, like how much time do I have to wait? Now, although we say how long, and of course when you say long, you often think about long, the size, but actually when we say how long, we mean, we basically mean how much time. The dosage is 40 milligrams. So what we normally mean by the dosage, the dosage is the amount. Now, normally you take maybe one, uh, one capsule or one tablet. By capsule, I mean this. Um, by tablet, I mean this. Um, but you might take one or two of them. And the dosage is basically the recommended amount that you should take. A dosage is one time, right? So one dose is one time that you take your prescription. Common side effects, drowsiness and nausea. So by side effects, we basically mean what happens when you take the medicine. So do you have, by side effect, we mean something that happens. Maybe you feel a little sick when you take it. That's what we mean by nausea. Maybe you feel a little sleepy when you take it. That's what we mean by drowsiness. So side effects basically means something that maybe, something bad that maybe happens to you after you take the medicine. Now it's not life-threatening or anything. It just means that there's something that, that maybe makes you feel unwell or maybe feel a little bit sick when you take the medicine. Any concerns, contact your doctor. So of course, any concerns mean if you have any problems or if you have any worries. What they want you to do is probably not come back to the pharmacy, actually go to your doctor and speak with your doctor directly. Because of course, if you have a problem or an issue, probably your doctor is the best person to give you advice. Set up an automatic alert. 
And this is very popular now. So set up an automatic alert. It basically means they take your telephone number or your email address and they're going to contact you directly when either your medication is ready or when it's time for you to get a refill. Um, normally this is by text message, but sometimes you get a voicemail and you can also get an email as well. All right, in this last part of the lesson, I'm going to answer a few questions that are sort of key to give you more knowledge and more confidence going into this situation at the pharmacy. What's on the label? If you get any medication from the pharmacy, there's normally, it normally comes in a little, a little bottle, uh, something like this, and there's a label on it. And the label looks something like this. Now, there's some kind of important information on that label. The first thing that you'll notice is the, what they call the RX number, and that's your sort of prescription number. So if you are going to a pharmacy and you're getting uh, like a refill, like a refill being like a repeat of your medication, very often they, they'll ask you for your RX number or your prescription number. So that's the number that you see there. And of course you give them that number and then they can find a record of your medication and they can make that order for you. Of course, the next thing is your doctor's name and the medication's name. There's also the dosage, so just check to make sure it's the correct amount. Um, it's normally in milligrams, so yeah, just check to make sure that your prescription matches the, 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 the bottle that you have, that the milligram amount is the same on both. You also have the expiration date and you have the refills. Basically, the refills is how many times you can go back to the pharmacy and get more of that same medication. Normally, um, they'll allow you to go back and get, you know, maybe three, maybe six refills, but at some point, you're going to have to then go back to your doctor um, to have a new prescription filled. Now, this is not a difficult thing to do. Most of the time, it's quite easy. You can normally like call through to your doctor's office. Um, I think in some cases, even the pharmacy will, will phone through to your doctor's office for you. Where can I fill my prescription? In the United States, there are two very big pharmacies that you'll find in most towns and cities. There's CVS and there's Walgreens. Now these are the big sort of pharmacies and you'll find them everywhere dotted around the city. Um, if not those two pharmacies, if you don't go to CVS or Walgreens, you can also go to some supermarkets. So the bigger supermarkets like Walmart um, and here in Florida, they also have a place called Publix. They have their own pharmacy so you can go and fill your prescription there. What other services do pharmacies offer? Pharmacies offer a lot of different services in the United States. For example, you can get your prescription, but you can also get things like flu shots, um, COVID-19 vaccinations, uh, COVID-19 boosters, any over-the-counter medication. By over-the-counter, we mean anything you don't need a prescription for. So anything that they stock in the pharmacy um, that you don't need to get a prescription for, that's over-the-counter medication. Pharmacies also often have like beauty products and healthcare products. You'll find quite a lot of pharmacies also have some convenience foods, things like, you know, bread, milk and water, those kind of things. And although not such a big thing now with, you know, a lot of people having sort of digital uh, cameras and keeping everything on their computers, but they do still offer um, photo development and printing services. How can I get my prescription filled? When you go to the pharmacy, there are basically two ways that you can fill your prescription. You can go in person, so you can go into the pharmacy, walk in and speak to the person directly at the counter in the pharmacy. 
Also, most pharmacies will have a drive-through. Basically, you drive your car up to the window and you can speak directly to somebody and get your prescription filled that way. Now, this is a good way to get your prescription if you know it's already prepared and so you're just driving up to collect it. Also, this is uh, a very convenient way to do it because many times the drive-through is open later hours. Um, I think some of them are even 24 hours. Okay, that's it for today's lesson. Thank you so much for joining me in our trip to the pharmacy. Please remember, if you like these videos, please give me a thumbs up and like the video. And also don't forget to click to subscribe as well. <laughs>